what's up welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new today is wednesday and i had such a late start this morning which has not been the case for me i had like a really good routine but last night i couldn't sleep so i literally stayed up until midnight revamping my vlog getting rid of all of these super old content from like 2018 and i just cleaned everything up a little bit and i also did my one month review with my louis vuitton palm springs mini backpack and i basically just shared like my thoughts on the bag my experience if i think it was worth Worth it so if you guys want to read that blog post I will have it linked in the description I haven't really been posting much on my blog I've just been very focused on YouTube but I kind of miss it so last night I just like decided to clean up my blog a little bit and maybe do like some styling videos on there maybe share like what's in my purse or just kind of like coincide it with what I do on YouTube. But it is already the afternoon and I still have so much to get done today. I just did my hair and makeup. I have to shoot some content photos. Chad and I have to go grocery shopping despite the fact that it's like the middle of the week. We just were not able to go earlier this week. So we're going today. He's on his way home right now. He went and picked us up some lunch. So I got a grilled chicken salad really crossing my fingers that it's actually grilled because every single time I try to get something healthy it ends up being like fried freaking chicken with bacon or something so it's from PDQ I looked up the menu online and I like specifically told him to make sure that he orders it with grilled chicken I made a bunch of stuff go on sale yesterday on my website so I have a bunch of orders so thank you guys who placed orders Okay, I am all caught up on orders for now, so I'm gonna go eat lunch, and then I think Chad and I are gonna write our grocery list, and then drop this off at the post office, and go grocery shopping. So I just got a Mediterranean salad with grilled chicken. So glad it's actually grilled. I like made Chad triple check. So this has feta cheese, cucumber, olives, peppers, tomato, some hummus, and obviously the chicken and lettuce. I'm sitting here making fun of Chad right now because <laughs> This salad is so good and I told him that the olives in it, I don't know what kind of olives these are, but they're like really potent, these ones, and they're good. I love olives, but they're like really potent, and I told him that, and he's like, oh, I'm really glad I didn't get the olives, and he's like so picky, so I was messing with him. Y'all have a salad with no tomatoes, no olives, no peppers. Matter of fact, let me just get a bowl of lettuce. <laughs> I swear that's literally how he orders salads. Like, he doesn't like toppings. I feel like he only gets carrots and cucumber. I like my salad to have a lot in it. We're about to write our grocery list for the week, and I wanted to show you guys. We have this little magnetic whiteboard on our fridge in case we, like, need to write each other a note or a reminder or something. But I decided to put healthy snack ideas and healthy lunch ideas for this week so that I can hold myself accountable and not make excuses for not eating healthy. Because it's, like, right in front of me, so when I open the fridge... Okay, look. Look at all these healthy options. So... We're good. And also, I found this asado chicken and sauteed lemon zucchini recipe on Pinterest. And matter of fact, let me show you guys a picture of it. So here's what it's supposed to look like. I mean, how delicious does that look? So I printed the recipe and Chad and I are gonna make it this week. So I guess we're not going to the grocery store yet because Chad is taking a shower first. I just got an Amazon package in with some more hangers. Oh yeah, and I got a box cutter, guys. Every single time I do an unboxing, I'm just using a pair of scissors. And finally, I don't know what took me so long, but I decided to buy a box cutter and I got this on Amazon. It's called The Slice. And it is so cool. Like, it's not even an bl actual blade. I mean, it is, but it's like, it's not um, like a typical one. And it cuts so nicely. And you don't have to worry about like scissors stabbing into your package because it's like really narrow. So I'll link this for you guys. It's nice because you can like hold on to it. It's kind of funny looking, but I really like it. I ordered a bajillion packs of felt hangers because I always run out when I'm stocking my somebody inventory and I don't like plastic hangers. I only like the felt ones because they just are nicer and they hold the clothes better. So we've got four packs here. We just dropped off the packages for somebody. All of your orders are out now. If anything else comes in that's like from the sale, I will get that out tomorrow. But we're heading to Sprouts to go grocery shopping. We've been going there like all the time lately. 
and we just have our list all ready to go here, super healthy stuff. from the grocery store and I thought I would do a little grocery haul because I love watching these and every time I do it you guys love it too got some fruits Chad picked up these tangerines are these the tangerines they're like cuties but these ones are called sun rays and then I got strawberries and blueberries and like I picked this thing of strawberries because like the vine is literally coming off the strawberry how fresh does that look? For veggies, we got three zucchini. This is for that chicken meal, baby carrots, and baby cucumbers. So I recently started trying these baby cucumbers and I love them so much more than a regular size cucumber, like for snacking purposes. Um, they're just like really, really good and easy to cut up because they're so small. And it's also nice if you just want to like cut a few up at a time, then the other ones are still fresh. I got two avocados, two peppers for the wraps that I want to do, like the hummus veggie wraps. Some spinach also for the wraps and also for salads. Another thing of almond milk. I got some organic hummus for the wraps. And then I got a spinach dip that's made with Greek yogurt. So last week I got a spinach artichoke dip and I love spinach dips, but I hate artichoke for some reason. And I can never find dips that don't have artichoke in it. It's always like jalapeno parmesan artichoke or peppers and artichoke or spinach and artichoke. It's never just like not artichokes, so I found this one. It's spinach dip with Greek yogurt, and it's by the Sprouts brand, so hopefully that's good. I got these Mission Organic Whole Wheat Tortillas for the wraps, and then I just got a thing of rolled oats so I can make some overnight oats. This is something that I learned the last time I made them. You apparently can't use instant oats for overnight oats. It doesn't work very well, so I got some rolled oats. And then Chad and I picked up some snapper to do for dinner tonight. Typically when we do fish, the only thing we ever make is salmon. So we decided we're gonna try snapper tonight and I think we're just going to bake this in the oven. And that'll be a first for us, so hopefully it's good. I got some yogurt for my yogurt parfaits in the morning. Uh, this one is just honey, vanilla, Greek yogurt. Two apples to have for a snack, and I found the biggest honey crisp apple. Like, I don't even think this is doing it justice. This is the biggest apple ever, and I'm so excited about it. It looks so good. A lemon, these coconut rolls, because the last few times I've been there, I've noticed them, and they just look so good. They're like chocolatey coconut rolls and they just sounded super good i got a bag of chips i really wanted to get something salty so these are made with avocado oil and they have really simple ingredients literally it's just potatoes avocado oil and sea salt thing of chicken broth to go with that meal that we're making with the chicken i showed you guys some more red lentil penne because you guys know i love that and then i got some almond nut thins to go with my dip and that is the spread for the week so i'm gonna put all this stuff away now okay i just put all the groceries away and i just realized that i never showed you guys this it's a cold brew coffee maker that i bought on amazon because i love cold brew coffee so i thought i would save myself a little bit of money running to starbucks all the time if i just made some cold brew at home and chad loves cold brew too so i don't know why i forgot to tell you guys in my hall just now it was like sitting right there but we ground up some coffee we got columbia medium roast coffee to make with this cold brew so super simple you just add in the coffee beans and fill it with water and then you just have to put it in the refrigerator for 12 to 24 hours so it should be ready by friday and i will give you guys a taste test then but i have to wash it first Coffee smells so, so good. It makes Chad and I want to get a coffee grinder so that we can buy fresh beans and do this. Oh my gosh. We should make a cup of coffee right now. I know it's like five, but it smells so good. Chad's the coffee master. He literally has a scale and he measures his coffee out when he does his pour overs. That's true. I'm too lazy to measure things out. I'm just like, eh, a little of that, that'll do. I'm like, I'm gonna make some cold brew and then you just come out here and take over. I thought you wanted help. I'm sorry. You want to do it? <laughs> no. I'm just giving you a hard time. Thank you for helping me. It makes it easier for me to record this. 
do it for the vlog. Oh, I feel like I should hold this. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Chad, I know how to do it. <laughs> is it? I don't know. You know how to do it. Will you check? I don't want it to fall off in there. Oh, it's not good. It's crooked. See how it's like going that way? 12 to 48 hours later, we will have some cold brew, and I'm so excited. I'll let you guys know. Chad says we can drink it tomorrow, but I kind of want to wait until Friday, so it's like extra steeped. Is that what it's called, even though it's cold? Yeah, but isn't it technically steeping in the water? I think, I think maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's, that only refers to hot. I don't know. But guess what Chad did this morning? He went and did a sensory deprivation tank for one hour for the first time. And he just like told me all about it while we were driving. And it sounds really, really cool, but I honestly don't think I could do it because he said that it's like a really enclosed space and I have extreme claustrophobia, um, like very, very badly, to the point where if you guys heard about my MRI experience for my heart a few months back, um, that was like a nightmare. So I wouldn't want to put myself in that kind of a situation because I'd probably have a panic attack. But it sounds so cool, like you're sitting in the water and you're floating and it's quiet. And he said it's only like a foot deep of water. It was really cool. There is a very interesting experience. So would you recommend it? Yeah, to people that just kind of want to clear their head and they're not claustrophobic. So not me. It's worth doing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's worth doing once. So we have some jasmine rice going. And Chad just seasoned the... I almost said chicken. <laughs> kind of looks like chicken. This it? is not chicken. <laughs> this is snapper. What did you season it with? Um, butter, Cajun seasoning, Worcestershire sauce, garlic, parsley, black pepper, breadcrumbs. It looks good. I really hope it tastes good. You cannot lay on this. Do you understand? No, I did not lay that there for you. You are not allowed to lay on that. You are a baby peanut. You are a baby peanut. You can't lay on that. Come to mama. I just finished tagging all of these tie-dye two-piece sets that are coming to my store on Friday and I literally just changed into it really quick to show you guys how freaking cute they are. I've had two different tie-dye sets so far so this will be the third one on my store and they've all sold out so so fast but I think this one is my favorite. The material is a little bit different. It almost reminds me of like a knit linen material but I mostly just love the color. It's just such a pretty neutral color. It comes with the matching shorts and I don't know I just feel like it's the the cutest loungewear set ever. If you guys like it and you want to get it, it's coming to the store Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Chef Chad's meal of the night. I'm so excited. We made Brussels sprouts with it. I'll let you guys know how it turned out. Come here. Don't, don't jump. He's just like jumping around. Hold on, come here, come here. Hey, trooper. We're back from our walk and I'm just sitting here powering up all my Pokemon. I used an incense while we were walking, so I just like catching them the entire time. I forgot how much I enjoyed this game until I started playing it again. Well, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here just for tonight. I'm gonna continue this vlog into tomorrow, but I'm about to take a shower, exfoliate, and then self tan. So I feel like at this point, I don't know what else I would vlog. So I will talk to you guys in the morning.
Good morning guys, what's up? It's the next day obviously and I had the weirdest morning because I didn't go for my run today because I woke up and I just had like really really sore calves and it's like become my routine now. Every single morning I wake up and I run about a mile and a half and I'm just trying to get my endurance back up because the first time I ran like maybe two weeks ago it was really hard for me and I didn't think that was healthy so I'm just trying to like build up that endurance again and also it just makes me so happy and I love starting my day out running but I just feel so off today because I didn't run but super super sore and I don't want to like pull a muscle or something they're just like really tight and I don't want to hurt myself because I already did that once a long time ago and I couldn't walk for like a couple days or at least it hurt really bad when I walked. I've not had anything for breakfast yet, so I'm gonna make a little yogurt parfait. So I want to give you guys a little update on the situation with school because I feel like I've been getting asked so, so much. Um, so this sucks and I haven't really brought it up because I thought for sure that eventually I'd get into the classes I need. But basically, long story short, I try to sign up for classes like I normally do at the end of last semester, early summer, and I was unable to get into the classes I need because they filled up way too quickly. I only have a few more prereqs that I need and I wasn't able to get into them. I was supposed to take organic chemistry, a lab, microbiology, and a lab and that's it the semester and then obviously study for the GRE and take that but I couldn't get in to the classes because they filled up and I immediately reached out to my advisor and he said to just keep checking which I've been doing so as of right now I'm pretty much not taking anything I guess which really sucks because I've been on such a roll with just getting these prereqs done um, but there's nothing I can do about it. In fact, my chances of getting in now are even less because of COVID. Now they're like decreasing class sizes. And I thought that maybe they would open up some online classes, but my campus is going like back to on campus. So I'm not really sure what to expect. My advisor doesn't really know either. I know that a lot of people at my school have had a hard time getting into classes because of that reason. They like have to keep the class sizes under a certain amount. So they're just not taking as many students. Either way, I can't get in so I'm just kind of like accepting it for what it is. I think everything happens for a reason so I guess I'm just going to be holding off on that for now. I know that's really disappointing to a lot of you guys because most of you watch me for my college content so sorry about that. Hopefully you'll still stick around. Just got together some outfits. I'm actually going to the beach tonight to do a little beach photo shoot. So we have everything ready. And now I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that my hair and makeup is done and I'm gonna make some TikToks. It is way later now. I officially made two TikToks and I wanna show you guys. So follow me on there. It's the same username as on Instagram. XO Melissa Lucy. So I made that one and this one. So if you're not following me on TikTok, you should do that. And I love how TikTok's like about to be banned and then I finally decide to get on TikTok. I did also upload these on Instagram Reels. So it is way later. It stormed like crazy and it still looks like death outside. So the photo shoot didn't happen, but I do have another photo shoot tomorrow morning. So I just got finished planning out all of my outfits for that and Chad just threw a pizza in the oven we were gonna cook tonight, but we decided that we're too lazy. So we're sitting here watching The Office and that's my night. I know Joke just spent like the last hour watching TikTok videos and Chad's sitting here getting ready for work tomorrow and I'm just out here hysterically laughing like the entire time and just like saving all of them so I can show them to him and my phone's just like full of TikToks now. And like half the time he doesn't even think it's funny. So I don't even know why I bother, but I just think it's so funny. But anyways, I'm gonna end this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.